And hello, sports fans. Welcome to the ninth annual Richard Hector Memorial football match here at Goose Gosling Field, better known as BAA Field. We have the accountants, the defending champions, wearing the red and white up against the legal at last team, the lawyers. And here are the starting lineups. But before we go there, we want to mention that veteran referee Stuart Crocco is the man in the middle with Anton Augustus on the side. So the match is getting underway here with the accountants kicking off and attacking the goal to our left. As we stated, uh, the lineup, the captain for Legal at Last is Jeff Elkinson. Others include Jamie Sedano, Sedanio, his brother is in goal, Jahan, Darren White, Ian Whitley, Killian Elkinson, Tristan Hall, Blen Bean, Dennis Russell, Tokia Russell, Ken Senewald, Matthew Sharp, Attorney General Mark Pettengill, Marco Warren, and Michael Russell. And the lineup for the reigning champions. We have Craig Gardner from Oil Management. He's the assistant controller there. Daniel Reese from Clarion Bank. We have the goalkeeper, Gordon Cox from Equinox. He's the accountant manager. John Donnelly from KPMG. John Tully from KPMG as well. Najeb Shantouf, the Chew Stick Foundation. Darren Wrights, Liberty Mutual. Peter Robbie from Apex. Steve Upton from Mitsubishi. Ryan Miners from Tools and Equipment, and Jonathan Briers. Beautiful sunshine, lovely breeze here. We're going to have 45 minutes of action going both ways. Should mention that last year, the match actually went into <clears throat> penalty kicks before the accountants pulled off the victory. So the Legal at Last team have come with the added punch of some well known uh, former top players. Well, Tokia Russell, Dennis Russell, Glenn Bean. Uh, all quality players that have played uh, Premier Division football here in Bermuda. And uh, some of them have even represented Bermuda on the international scene. Now let's get to the action here. <clears throat> it's a free kick that has been awarded to the accountants. Standing over there <clears throat> at right back, Tristan Hall. Number five, that's uh, Najib Shantouf. Oh, this is a chance here. Oh, just there and missing an opportunity was Dennis Russell after a good cross there from the left hand side. I think it was Killian Elkinson who tried to find Russell, but it was a little bit behind him there. So the first real scoring opportunity going to legal at last. Play on the far side now. There's a throw down the line. Glenn Bean gets around his men. He's being watched very closely there by Wrights. And I think we're going to have our first corner of the match. Here's Bean with the corner kick. Oh, an opportunity there by Tokia Russell, but he didn't connect cleanly. And the goalkeeper, Cox, collects and rolls it out. Oh, Russell. And now Jeff Elkinson. Hard tackle right there from number three, Steve Upton. Now his play going on the left side. Number 14, Briars. Over there, looking for Upton. And here come the lawyers. There's the big guy there in the center. That's Matthew Sharp. Oops, goes to his left. Over there, finding number 14 there. Ah, oh, this one's long. And we'll run all the way down to goalkeeper Cox. Four minutes into the match, just about time to mention uh, the gentleman 
who the trophy is named after, Richard Hector. Uh, he was admitted to the bar of England and Wales on the 24th of November in 1964, admitted to the Bermuda Bar on the 29th of February 1972, elected president of the Bermuda Bar Association during the AGM, the 8th of April 1999, and again the following AGM on the 27th of April 2000, he served a two-year term. He passed away due to a massive heart attack on February 2006. So the ninth annual Richard Hector Memorial football match is underway. We have uh, goalkeeper Jahan Sedanio goes to his left. Oh, getting some pressure and stripped. Um, Russell comes up with it. Bean looking for Alkinson. Will he get a shot off? Dennis Russell is there. Turns it inside. Alkinson slips around his man. Goes long. Oh, the offside flag goes up. It'll be coming out. End to end action here. From uh, some of the best legal minds and those dealing with our finances on the field tonight. Okay. It's number 12 right there. That's uh, Darren White. He's working on the left side. Free kick. Going long. Finding Alkinson. He seems to be the go-to man. Stripped there by Gardner. Trying to come over here to the right side to Upton, but coming up with it there was uh, number seven, Jamie Sedanio. Throw in. Oh, the skipper, Jeff Alkinson, he gets right into things there. And, uh, Sharp was unable to keep it into play, but the referee, Stuart Crock, was called for another ball. We're some seven and a half minutes down <clears throat> and scoreless in this ninth annual Memorial Richard Hector football match. Sharp gets a boot on it and knocks it into touch. It'll be a throw in. Somebody check, somebody check. Right again. There's a throw going long. Off, off the chest of uh, Roby. Robbie down there. Is Robbie inside? And who's there? Of course, it's Ryan Miners in the eighth minute that scores. And the defending champions. The accountants go ahead. Great, great assistance there from Peter Robbie. So he gets the assist. And so eight minutes into the match, and the accountants are leading. Come the accountants once again. They're going to have to watch. And have to watch him up there. Miners is finding room. It's now inside to Upton. He stripped Russell. Russell finding a little bit of room in the midfield there to Dennis Russell to the big Sedanio. Oh, this is interesting. Elkinson coat level it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dennis Russell, one minute later. So after some nine and a half minutes of play, <clears throat> we're all level 1-1 one, one here. That's end-to-end -end action for you. So the accountant's lead was... 
Only for one minute. Here come the accountants again, trying to come wide over here to Briars. Briars turns it inside to Upton. He now comes over here to Upton again. Ah, oh, bad distribution there, and coming up with it was Robbie. Now it's Gardner. Ah, oh, Wilkinson Alkinson is really having a good game. He's really a skillful player. Sedanio trying to feed down the line. There's the cross in the center. Oh, just in front of Ian Whitley. Glenn Bean. Also in the mix out there is Darren White. Trying to go inside to Russell. That's Tokyo. Tokyo. Russell. Takia. Russell. Here's the cross, all oh, intended there for one of the strikers. Again, it looks like uh, Tokio Russell is going to be the distributor. Oh, this could be a costly mistake. Oh, straight at the keeper. Well done by Cox. It's still a chance here. Russell having, oh, another shot. Robbie now. He finds Briars. And here come the lawyers, Blend Bean. Whitley and Bean combining over there. Working on the left side. But it's the accountants that come up with it. Spreading it wide. Over here. It was too far ahead for John Tully, it'll be a throw in. 1 1 is the score. We're summoning 11 and a half minutes down. We go to the far side where Najab Shatouf. Oh, it's kind of tight as they try to go down the, in the center. Oh, Robbie. There, does well to keep it in play. Feeds it off to Upton. It's going to be a throw in. It's just going to be Jamie Sedanio, who will go all the way back to his skipper, Jeff Elkinson. Oh, good move there by John Briars. Oh, this is effort well outside there, off target. A short kick, brother to brother. There's Jahan and Jamie. Now they turn it inside. To Darren White. Oh, they're scrambling for possession out there. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, appeals for handball. The referee, Stuart Crockle, says play on. Some 13 and a half minutes down now. And 1 1. Blend Bean. Being watched very closely out there. Oh, Tokyo Russell punching it through down there. Approaching 15 minutes now. <clears throat> oh, 
Uh, good defensive action there. And it's going to be Tully who try to go down the line. Sedanio. Finds Robbie. Oh, straight to the keeper. Play on the far side now. Russell, Blen Bean, Elkinson, Blen, Blen Bean on the run. Russell's there and has one. Just wide. Goal kick. Cox. Oh, a, second, a goal there. And it's 2 1. So the Warriors go up 2 1 in the 15th minute. So the lawyers are now leading to one. And uh, it was Russell. Here comes the accountants once again. Oh, an, an attempted back heel there. From Briars, it didn't work. Tokio Russell going long. Elkinson there. Cox comes to the edge of the box. Tully. He goes back. Going long here. Looking for Upton. It's still the accountants. Oh, there's a shot. One bounce. It's a good effort there from Jonathan Briars. Tokia Russell, you've heard that name already several times, and we are only in the 17th minute. There's Upton trying to chip it through delicately. Big boot from Jahan. Blend Bean now. Oh, good effort, but well watched by Gordon Cox, the keeper. Tully now over here on the left side. Also has over here with him Steve Upton. He likes to stay in the middle, working closely with Robbie. Robbie's like the playmaker out there. Tully now. Being watched by, oh, good tackle there by uh, Jamie Sedanio. It's going to be a throw in for the accountants. That uh, John Donnelly is also in the mix there. Russell finds Blen Bean. He has space. He has space. He's inside the box. And there it is, 3-1, Blend Bean. That puts the Warriors ahead 3-1 in the 19th minute. It's the Lawyers 3, the accountants who scored first, 1. And uh, the lawyers in blue and white pick it up again. They're controlling the possession right now. Here's the skipper, Jeff Elkinson. Sedanio going all the way back to his brother in goal. Spreads it out to the left. Oh, Russell.
Russell is really controlling things in the midfield. Oh, oh good tackle there. Awesome tackle there by uh, Darren Wright. Whistle goes, free kick. Uh, Wilkinson putting putting some pressure there on Briars. Chatouf. Russell. Along with Upton, they're clashing out there. They're coming wide out here to Upton, Steve Upton. There's the cross. Oh, miss kick is a chance here. Opportunity for Daniel Reese. But the lawyers come up with it. Well done there by Ian Whitley. Uh, Wilkinson again on the left side, but chasing him down is John Donnelly. Now, we've identified Ken Senewald is also out there. Number nine. Kenewald, Senewald. Ken Senewald. The accountants come up with it. Yep, Senewald. Being shadowed there. Yep, Ryan Miners, the goal scorer. Able to come up with it. The goalkeeper goes to his left. It'll be a throw in for the lawyers on the far side. Quickly taken there. Wilkinson. That's Killian Wilkinson who's having an awesome match. Tokia Russell now, controlling the midfield, going wide to Sedanio out here. That will be Jamie Sedanio. Once again, the scores, the lawyers three, the accountants one. Goals coming in the eighth, ninth, 15th, and 19th minutes. We are now some 22 minutes down with the lawyers leading 3-1. Takiyo Russell being watched very closely there by Craig Gardner. Now it's Senewald. Oh, with, what a shot there. This guy is uh, Killian Elkinson. He should be, he should be playing uh, soccer on a regular here. He has all the skills and moves. Speedy, good ball control, reads the game well. Definitely a quality player. Now we have a substitution. Dennis Russell coming out and coming on. It's uh, number five, uh, Tristan Hall. Tully. Eludes Jeff Elkinson, <clears throat> goes inside to Robbie, looking for left winger down there, but it goes into touch. It'll be a throw in for the accountants. There's the throw, long throw there by Steve Upton. Oh, the whistle goes as uh, Ryan Miners and the goalkeeper, Jahan Sedanio, tangle it up a bit. Referee Stuart Crockwell indicates that it's a corner kick that will be taken by Steve Upton. Excuse me. Oh, what a goal there. What a goal by Jonathan Briars in the 24th minute. And that makes the score three to two. It's kickoff quickly taken. Already uh, 
25th, in the 25th minute and five goals have been scored. Could be a high scoring affair here. There's a big guy in the center there. Sharp goes to his left. Russell being pressured. Oh, the accountants come up with it. Briars is really uh, light footed there in the midfield. Come the accountants once again. Back to Tully. He'll screw it up and go into the center to Wrights. Trying to thread it through was Robbie. <clears throat> it's still the accountants there. Briars, will he get the cross in? Wilkinson comes in. Briars slips around him. Sharp comes in. It's still the accountants. Oh, really didn't get anything on it there. I believe it was Jonathan Briars. But uh, goalkeeper Sedanio, big boot down the middle. Headed back there by Wrights. Falls to. Gardner. It's still the lawyers. As we see a fresh pair of legs out there now in Tristan Hall. Glenn Bean slips around his man. Oh, the offside flag, but it stays down. It's Elkison, it's Bean. It's Bean. Oh, took a deflection. It should be a corner. Could have very easily been 4 2 there. to Kia Russell very quickly with the corner kick. I think it's another corner kick. This time you'll have Bean and to Kia Russell there. They go to Elkinson. Who goes between two. He's in the box now. I believe that was uh, Wrights who got a boot to it. There's the cross, long, and it will run long to the other side of the field. Twenty-seven minutes down in this first half of the ninth annual Richard Hector Memorial Football Match. The score, 3-2. End-to-end -end action here at the Goose Gosling Field. It's now goalkeeper Gordon Cox with a goal kick. Santa Wald is out there. Also Ian Whitley. Oh, the accountants come up with it. <clears throat> Peter Robbie, who's having a good first half. Tully intercepts. It's flicked inside by Upton. Tokia Russell now comes up with it. Oh, oh losing possession is Sedanio. Wilkinson regains, but also gives it up. Also in the midfield there. Briars again. Out looking for Upton out here, but it will run safely to the keeper. No threat whatsoever to the lawyer's goalkeeper, Jahan Sedanio. Oh, looking for Hall down there, but the big tall defender in rights gets ahead on it. Sent back looking for Ryan Miners, the goal scorer, who scored the first goal for the accountants. Oh, working out there. Excuse me, John Tully. Who's this? Number two twenty ones. Right here. 
I need to know who's who, which one is who, and, and, and get, okay? It's 221. Elkinson goes into a good tackle there with Jonathan Briars. And one in the center. Yeah. Okay. So, I do want to make an apology. We have been calling Daniel Reese uh, Tully because there are two number 21s out there. Daniel Reese is the left back. Uh, but here comes the lawyers once again. Oh, good clearance there by none other than Wright. All the way back to the keeper now. And Cox to the edge of the box. Looking for his striker up there and Ryan Miners. Oh, it's a chance here. Will it go in? Oh, just wide. Excellent opportunity for Steve Opton. Right on the 30-minute mark. He could have leveled it up, but it remains 3-2. The lawyer's leading. Seeking clarification with two 21s out on the field. As we stated, his short kick there for the lawyers, but the accountants come up with it. The accountants playing kind of short this evening, but we see one or two players uh, drifting in here, so they will have a bit of a bench. Tokia Russell, the danger man for the lawyers. Oh, Wrights is there. Took, oh, well done by Wrights. Darren Wrights. Now, Ryan Miners being watched by Sharp. Flicks it inside. Again. Oh, the skipper plays it back to his goalkeeper who clears for Russell. Oh, they give it up. They give it up very easily to Briars to Miners, who's being watched very closely there by Whitley. Here's a chance here. Here's the other number 21, but straight into the goalkeeper's hands. As we stated, there are two number 21s out there. Uh, in matches like this, sometimes that can happen. And here come the lawyers once again. You've heard this name often, Killian Elkinson. Oh, he's not afraid to pull the trigger. 33 and a half minutes down, and it's still the lawyers leading the accountants. Three to two. As the sun goes down and it gets a bit cool here, we're yet to see the Attorney General, Mark Pettengill, come on. Should be mentioned that he worked very closely with Richard Hector at uh, Wakefield Quinn. Ah, uh, Tristan Hall moving, but uh, unable to keep possession. And coming up with it there, P. 
Peter Robbie on the far side. Blen Bean looks as if he'll take the throw. No, he'll leave it for Ian Whitley. Tries to go to Bean, but it'll go into touch. There's the throw again to who? Up front, Wilkinson. Cox comes out and just beats him to the ball. 34 and a half minutes down. There's the big man. Number 20, Wrights, feeds it out here to Upton. Goes down the line and running hard there is Briars, who's having a good first half. There's the hardworking midfielder, Craig Gardner. Russell heads it down for Bean, who goes and finds Hall. He has Centerwild to his left. Elkinson is in the middle, but the accountants come up with it. Bean now dispossesses the other 21. Blen Bean looks like he was going to fire. Gets around. Oh, the whistle must go here. Oh, to the spot. It's a penalty. So the lawyers have a chance to go up. Four goals to two here after Blen Bean was pulled down. This is all about bragging rights here. Reminding you once again, it was the accountants that uh, won this match last year after a penalty shootout. Looks like Tokia Russell's going to take the penalty. And here he comes. Oh, yep. Tokia Russell in the 36th minute, it's a penalty for lawyers, and they now lead four goals to two. So the lawyers out for revenge this year after losing after a penalty shootout. And the accountants kick off. Trying to spread it wide to the other 21. Ah, here we go. Is your Attorney General. Mark Pettengill eventually getting on the field. He's in the left back position over there. Also, we see the youngster is also on the field, Marco Warren. There's uh, Warren. Warren, speedy here. Finds Hall. Hall into the box. We'll have one. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty, Tristan Hall. In the 38th minute, five-two. Still got uh, some seven minutes till the half, <clears throat> and the lawyers have now taken a five-two lead after the accountants got on the score sheet first. Sharp. Oh, he gives it away to Miners. Also doing some work there is Darren White trying to go to the left side as Shatouf. Oh, a chance here. Oh, excellent opportunity there for Steve Opton. Well done by the keeper. And now his brother, Sedanio, is being pressured there by Robbie. It'll be a throw in just to our left. Briars and Briars again. Trying to get inside the box. Looks inside to the ever working Robbie. He was not afraid to have a shot, but he was well outside the box, and the shot was well off target. Approaching 40 minutes now. Once again, it's the lawyers leading five goals to two. Skipper Elkinson comes out to the right side here to Sedanio. 
That's Jamie Cedeno going long. Oh, the flag goes up. Hall looking for another. But the offside flag was up. Free kick now to the accountants. Forty minutes completed now. Oh, Hall tries to get around. Right. Reese sends it long, but too long for Ryan Miners. Now in the, oh, a chance for the goalkeeper off his line. And yes, indeed, Steve Upton catches the keeper off his line. And that's coming in the 41st minute. And the accountants pull one back, and it's now five to three. Action now resuming. We're in the final two and a half, three minutes of play here of the first half. And the score, five goals to three, with the lawyers leading. Hall trying to get around his man, Wrights. There's the crawl. Oh, the flag goes up. A chance for Warren, but uh, the offside flag is up. Referee hasn't spotted it. Yep, Warren thought he had one there, but uh, the referee's assistant had the flag up. The goal disallowed. Here come the accountants again. Ryan Miners chasing on the far side. Needs support. <clears throat> Miners, can he get the cross in? Oh, there's Donnelly. He's stripped by Tokia Russell. It's now four on three. He has Elkinson over here. Elkinson cuts in. And there it is. He scores in the 43rd minute. Killian Elkinson. And the lawyers have now gone up six goals to three. Getting so close now to the halftime whistle. Okay. Yeah, I know that here, right? But who is, it's, a, it's, a, it's two. Well, we'll get it at the half. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm okay. I'm okay. Warren is stripped there by Chatouf. Goes wide to Pettengill. Pettengill not overlapping. He's been hanging back in the left back position. Goes all the way back to Darren White. Warren again hanging offside. He had a goal disallowed because of that a few minutes ago. This time he, they're trying to feed him again, and he's in the offside position. Ryan Miners. And the whistle goes. Foul there against Darren White, who came in from behind against Miners. There's a high ball headed out by skipper Elkinson. Blen Bean feeds Pettingill, and that's the halftime whistle. 
So at the half, the score is six to three. Just to recap it for you a bit here, Ryan Miners opened the scoring in the eighth minute for the accountants. Dennis Russell put one back, made it level in the one minute later. Then it was Russell in the 15th minute, putting the lawyers ahead 2-1. That was in the 15th. Glenn Bean in the 19th minute uh, put the lawyers up 3-1. In the 24th minute, the accountant struck, making it 3-2 was Jonathan Briars. Tokia Russell in the 36th, a penalty, gave the lawyers a 4-2 lead. It's six goals to three. So plenty of action here and still 45 minutes to play. And you've had nine goals in this ninth annual Richard Hector Memorial Soccer Match.